everyone, we're at uh, Colchester. Uh, we're actually sitting in the parliamentary uh, bar of the Red Lion Hotel. This is Colchester's oldest and most haunted hotel. So, haunted nights have got an event here tonight, so we've got a little bit of time before the guests arrive, so we thought we'd just drop in and say hello. With me is Kay. Hello, hi guys. I'm of Kay. Kay and L. Kay and L Ghost Hunters. L is over there. Um, and they're going to be doing um, some filming of tonight, uh, tonight's event. Colchester Castle, fantastic uh, location. It's a place where we are. We have got some events planned there coming up. We're one in April, I think. Uh, for me, it holds fascination of being massively linked to Matthew Hopkins, which is another event we do just a stone's throw from here. Obviously, Matthew Hopkins, a self proclaimed Witchfinder General, uh, born in the village of Great Wenham, um, probably about 10 miles from here, and then surfaced in Manning Tree as the Witchfinder General. In his short reign as the Witchfinder, he was responsible for the deaths of. 300 poor unfortunate souls um, through witchcraft. Colchester Castle has got quite a unique feature. It's got many unique features actually. Um, one of them being the actual witch cells, the cells where he held his witches and did his what he called watching, which was basically sleep deprivation. So uh, the poor soul was taken into the cells, um, stripped naked, sat cross-legged on the stool, and as soon as they started to fall asleep, he would march them back and two, back and two. Um, and his very first victim was a lady from Manitree called Elizabeth Clark. She was a one-legged, 80-year-old, four days, four nights, she suffered this until she eventually cracked and confessed to being a witch. And she named five other people. And that was the Good beginning girl. of the, uh, the Chelmsford Witch Trials. Uh, Matthew Hopkins had reigned for 14 months using Colchester Castle as his, uh, one of his bases um, and as I said it was responsible for many many poor unfortunate souls being um, accused and tried and executed for witchcraft. Underneath Colchester Castle, don't know if you know this one, um, obviously Colchester is the, the oldest town or city in England, it was the original capital city. Um, Colchester Castle when you see the shape of it, it's actually the blueprint for the Tower of London. It's like a smaller version of the Tower of London. It was a Roman temple and Boudicca, however you want to pronounce it, um, was the English tribeswoman who decided she was going to get Colchester back for the English, rode through Colchester with her army and raised it to the ground, leaving just the temple. So that was then knocked down, but what remains when you go into Colchester Castle are the vaults of the original Roman temple. So when we go ghost hunting, we actually go under the castle and we're going back to 56 AD. So it's probably the oldest place ever that we ghost hunt. Um, so yeah, fantastic history to Colchester Castle. The, the Matthew Hopkins link, the obviously the, the Roman Temple link, and not too up on the Quakers. Are you much on the Quakers? No, uh, Parnell, one of the founders of the Quaker movement, actually um, was held at Colchester Castle. Uh, in his time as a prison and he was made to climb down a rope every day for his, his bread and one day he fell, broke his leg, got gangrene and died. Ooh. So he is said to be um, quite a prolific haunting of, of uh, Colchester Castle. Must have been a horrible way to go. Yeah. Loads of energy. So yeah. Everything would have remained. Brilliant location. Absolutely brilliant Okay, So we're looking forward to getting back to Colchester Castle um, probably about three or four times during 2022. So tonight, yeah, for Red Lion, Red Lion the oldest and most haunted in a hotel in Colchester. There's lots and lots of ghost stories. Um, the the room that we're in now is the, the first, almost like the first Houses of Parliament, I guess. Cromwell's um, Parliament used to meet uh, meet here. Um, there is a very famous ghost story of a young lady, uh, Catherine Alice, who um, still haunts the building today, particularly room 10. That's the one we're staying in. So. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, and room five, uh, where we've we're sort of um, be investigating tonight. So, many many years ago, the uh, staff from the hotel were actually banned from talking about the ghosts. And really? if if anybody mentioned the ghosts, they were instantly dismissed. Wow! Because they believed it was front of yes. Now it's quite open, and the, the staff do sort of um, talk to us quite openly about it. Um, just to the left of me now in the, the little doorway over that side there's uh, quite often a little boy scene and um, we've got actually got some interesting uh, photographs of that um, in the Tudor room which is our base room for the night it's, it does have a bit of a religious feel um, there was a, a monk who was responsible for uh, several children during his stay here and there was a fire and 
he lost his life as so did the children so that's another, another one of the hauntings so, um, down in the cellar which is quite a big uh, big area right underneath the place uh, we do and have encountered probably best described as an Irish wolfhound really? looking dog yeah actually been captured on, the, on I've heard the stories about the dogs yeah so, yeah very old very beautiful place isn't it it is, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's the fact that nothing's straight as well. It's just <laughs> no. everything's at a strange angle, but it is just an amazing place to see. Yeah. I'm so glad that you've invited us down. Yeah. So thank you very much, Paul. Back here again, you know, probably three three or four times this year, we're going to do sort of a Christmas special as well, where we make sort of like a Christmas supper and sort of have a Christmas supper in the parliamentary uh, room. What we'll do, we'll put the dates about here. Yeah on the screen yeah that'd be perfect <laughs> um and yeah matthew hopkins say links to colchester we've got lots and lots of dates down at uh, manning tree mystery you've not been down there with us yet no not yet but yeah, br absolutely brilliant Thanks place. Come. <laughs> yeah to actually find the place where he lived and we've got access and we go to in the pub where he took his first witch from is uh, yeah it's just a bit special brilliant um and then uh calvin you've done calvin haven't you we have done calvin hatch we want to do it again. Not far away. And um, here, what a so. place that is. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. The fact that it's all underground and it's 150 foot underground at one point, I think. Yeah. It's, it's just amazing. It's, it's What a feat of engineering that place is. I know. It really is brilliant. Yeah. I'd like to live in there. It's all original, <laughs> isn't it? It's all original. Yeah. It's sort of untouched. It's just brilliant. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, so lots, lots of sort of um, events going on uh, around this, this part of England. We enjoy coming down here. So. Hopefully when um, K and L um, have a look at what we captured tonight, that'll be something interesting and uh, we can make a, make a, good, uh, a good night of it.